Hey gang, I wanted to, uh, here they're up here, oh, there you got them. I wanted to uh, talk to you guys about um, some articles I've been reading about celebrities with trans children. Now, I'm sure you all know about uh, Angelina Jolie's transgender child and, uh, and Charlize Theron's transgender child, transgender daughters. Um, and I was reading an article published not too long ago about people saw, uh, what'd you do, eat all the food? People saw Charlize Theron walking out in public of all places with her transgender daughter and Twitter was full of comments about um, how could she do this to that child? How could she subject this child to that? Um, what is she forcing on her child? Uh, this is why white people shouldn't have black children. And the, uh, uh, I mean, you could see the, you could, you could see the underlying tone of bigotry. You could see the underlying tone of religious conservatism, conservatism, conservativism, or whatever it's, however you pronounce it. You could see uh, the misunderstanding, and. Someone posted a question, um, I think it was a man, and, they, and the question was, the question was, uh, would you, would, it, would anyone reading his question uh, uh, want to raise, would you let your child wear whatever clothes they wanted to, or would you raise them in the sex that they were born in to? And I thought, that's two different questions. <laughs> it's two different questions. Would would I would I would I want to would I allow my child to express themselves the way they want to express themselves? Yeah, I mean, I may not have done that all the time out of fear, or you know, and and I may be I, I was I was never as guilty as as these these folks that are making all these comments, but I would have. We got cows. Get them. I never would have made these comments uh, about other people's children. And it's really funny. It's you know, Charlize has, even, has has come out and said it, you know, and I'm sure Angelina has too, but I haven't seen any of her interviews. She said, Charlize said, my mother taught me to speak your mind and live authentically and do what you want to do and stand up for yourself and speak up for yourself. And I'm not going to uh, raise my children any differently. And if one of my children wants to wear a dress, they can wear a dress. If they want to express themselves that way, then they can they can express themselves that way. I'm not going to stifle it. It's not my job to stifle it. It's not my duty to stifle it. It's my duty to support my children and let them grow and let them learn about themselves and let them express themselves the way they want to, as long as it's not going to hurt them. And, you know, maybe someday uh, Charlize's daughter, trans daughter, will change her mind and decide she doesn't want to wear dresses anymore. Maybe she wants to wear uh, men's clothes, whatever. You know, and to that to that question that guy posed, yeah, I would I would say yeah. Today, I would let my child express themselves the way they want to and wear what they want to wear. You know, it's just so so uh, lazy of people to require that everyone wear a uniform when they're out in public, um, so that they can automatically and very easily compartmentalize that person and put those person that person into a category. Okay, good. I know what that person is. Okay, good. I know what that person is. It's just so lazy. <laughs> but aren't we all just so lazy? Um, and 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 that's what it is, you know. And it's and it's this idea of normal. And what most people's idea of normal is: Are you the same as me? Or is this? Does this? Does this? this person believe the same thing that I believe? Or does this person look the same way that I look? Or is this person doing the same things that I'm doing? So we're, we're they're normal. If they are, then they're normal. And if they're not, then, 
you know, we got to get him some help. We got to take him somewhere. We got to we got to take him to some professional, some medical professional, or some clergyman, and, and we got to get him normal. We got to figure out how to make him normal. And um, the other argument is uh, these celebrities are living in a bubble. They're living in a fan fantasy world. They're they're living a above and apart from all the rest of the real world, and they just don't know what it's really like, and they just don't know how it really is, and. And to raise their children, they're, they're, they're getting skewed in their beliefs and they're, they're not raising their children to, to um, live in a normal society like the rest of us, 75% uh, of the country who hate our jobs, but go, get up and go to them anyway, because we lacked, uh, we lacked the, um, whatever it was we lacked, I don't want to start attacking everybody, but we, we, we lacked the ability to, to pick a career that we would really love to do. And, and, uh, and, and guess what? Angelina Jolie is a big movie star. And she makes a lot of money. And she has a lot of fans. And she's, and she's applauded wherever she goes. And she gets to wear fancy dresses. And so she's in a bubble. And she's not in the real world. You know, successful people are successful people. And they're successful for a reason. Okay, they have a lot of drive and a lot of determination and, and willingness to work hard and, and, and take initiative and seize opportunities that the rest of us don't. Uh, I used to think I was a hard worker, but I mean, I know, I know uber successful people in my, that, I, that I'm personal friends with who work 100 hours a week. And they're, and they're my age, and they're, and they're, in my opinion, they are very wealthy, they are very successful, they are very, they have all the, all the stuff, they have all the toys, they have all the, the articles and the accoutrements, <laughs> and, and they, they, but they're driven to, to get, to take more, and get more, and have more, and, you know, and I commend them for it, and I, and I'm, I like being a friend, because they drive me to do more, you know, uh, they, we, you know, we can't pick on celebrities just because they've done more than we have and achieved more than we have financially. You know, everybody wants to pull you down, you know, and now it's, well, oh, look, they're making their little boy wear a dress. So, so we got to go after them for that. You know, it's just so lazy. It's just so lazy. Now, now we have uniforms, and I've talked about this in other videos. We we do have uniforms in society. We have uniforms, um, uh, you know. And even this this is not this is the way I want to present myself. Some other trans people want to present themselves like ultra girly, frilly dresses, and you know ribbons in their hair and and long fingernails and all that stuff. That's that's not that's not my style. That's not the way I want to express myself. Um, uh, you know, uh, if I saw, if I found a Hell's Angels vest laying on the sidewalk, I wouldn't take it home and wash it and wear it to my next Halloween party. <laughs> that had to be earned, and I don't want anybody to see me wearing it. <laughs> it you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to um, uh, uh, put on a military uniform and, and get a bunch of fake decorations or pass, pretend, pass myself off as a, as a retired Navy SEAL, you know, like some people do, Okay. Uh, cause those, the, the, that uniform was earned. Okay. And, and there's a lot of honor behind that. And, and I would never, I would never dishonor that. And I would never disrespect that sort of thing. But as far as, as far as me, just, just being a civilian and just moving through my life, you know, I should be able to wear whatever the hell I want to wear. And, and I don't, and if you don't like it, fine, but you don't have to hate me. You know, it's the hate, okay? I'm sure those comments um, maybe, maybe bother those celebrities a little bit, you know, but probably knowing as many su uber successful people as I know, they probably don't. <laughs> they might, but they probably don't. And, and it's just when you see the hate and, and you, you, you know, it, 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 it's just, it just drives me crazy. It gets under my skin. You know, we all got this tribal, tribal thing, you know. And I remember once uh, we were out and, and a, a cis woman came over to me and my friend and, and we were with some other trans women and she came over and she left her friends. There was a whole bunch of people there. I think there might have been a spillover from a wedding reception or something. And they were in a hotel bar 
and she came over by us and she says, I, I want to be in your tribe. <laughs> I want to hang with you guys. And, and we, and we, and you know, that's where it really hit home is, uh, we are tribal. We're very tribal. And we, if you don't look the same as me, then I gotta, we gotta, we gotta do this for a few minutes to I figure you out. Are you going to be a threat? Uh, are you, you know, are, are you, uh, a, any jeopardy to my self-image? Are you going to hurt me in any way? You know, uh, and that's how people are, you know, and it's, it's lazy. It's human nature, but it's lazy. It's extremely lazy. And, uh, you know, I'm out, you got me outside tonight. I'm out on the, I'm out on the patio. There's my backyard. Uh, get, get changing my backdrop. Um, getting tired of looking at the bar, at my bar. Uh, I hope you guys, uh, if you uh, will comment on this. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, please like, uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, you can still find me on Facebook at Rachel Rollins. You can find me on Instagram at, at Rachel Aaron Rollins. Um, I haven't posted on Instagram very much lately, but uh, I, 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 I intend to start again. And uh, I hope uh, you guys have something to say about what I just said. Um, and uh, if you think it was silly, um, uh, let me know. And if you don't, let me know. Love and peace to all. Let's just try to accept one another for who they are.